Um, she thinks that she speaks English, so she'll go up to people rather than dogs um, and try and talk to them. Dogs think she's weird. Other dogs. She likes the scent. She likes to go around and smell them. He loves other dogs. Uh, this dog has more friends in the neighborhood than I've ever had in my life. When Buckaroo comes up, it's like uh, party time. It's like he, he just brings out the best in, in dogs. There you go, shit. Anything that'll give him attention, a dog or a person, he's just all over it. He likes playing um, with dogs. He's in the dog run, which we were just about to go to. He was, um, you know, pulling me towards it because he knows there's other dogs there. But as soon as there's people around, he loves to play with them too. So. I don't know, it's a toss-up. <laughs> My dog prefers any living being. He loves cats, he loves dogs, he's kissed a horse. He even one time tried to play with a rat on the street, so. Lola definitely prefers people. She sits in the dog run on the bench waiting for people to come up to her. Tucker's kind of a dog's dog. I think he prefers humans because they get, they're more valuable to him. But he likes other dogs. He's pretty well adjusted. Currently humans. He definitely, but he's very interested in other dogs, but I think he, he loves, and he flirts with the girls. He's a very approachable. When she was a puppy a few times, some bigger dogs attacked her, whatever, and so she's afraid of it. She'll play with dogs, but definitely more comfortable on humans. It's kind of 50-50. I think what he prefers is energy. If you've got the right energy, whether you're a dog or a person, that's what he's, that's what he's gonna run to. Humans give them a lot more attention than other dogs do, but, you know, they do like to sniff the good dog butt every once in a while. <laughs> dogs will be dogs.